Hi guys, my name is Vire Prakash and welcome to my YouTube channel Rodha. So I welcome you all to the second part actually. So this is the first part we did in uh, the previous video. Okay, and let's continue from there, right? So in just to uh, first two minutes, just remind all of what uh, we did in the last video actually. Okay. So in the last video, what we did here, uh, we to I told you that we were deriving a pattern actually, right? So what it told actually that if if I have uh, if I have, let's say, uh, if if I'm started thinking with two cuts here, yeah? right? So if I start thinking with two cuts actually, so in the in those two cuts, the my cut should be at ring number four and ring number eleven, right? That's what we discussed, no? Okay, to maximize the number of uh, wings or number of, uh, to cover the maximum number of wings from one to twenty three, or in fact to cover all the wing, right? Okay. So let me number number the rings uh, as let's say ring one, okay. Fine, ring one, ring two, ring three, ring four, yeah. Ring five, ring six, ring seven, ring eight, ring nine, ring ten, ring eleven. Ah, then one, two, three more we can draw actually. So ring twelve, and this will go keep on going till ring number twenty three. Correct. Ring number twenty three. It is like that. Okay. Yeah. Ring number twenty is fine. So what it actually told actually. Okay. So in this case, my cuts are where. So my first cut is at is at ring number four, and my second cut is is at ring number eleven. So I'm making these two cuts at ring number four and eleven. What has happened? What has happened actually? So these two cuts has divided ring into five parts. Okay. And these two cuts are where. At ring number four and ring number eleven. Okay, so ring number four and eleven. The two cuts will give you two individual rings of one gram each. Okay, so two cuts will give you two individual rings of one gram each. One gram each, right? Okay, and then with this ring number cut uh, cut at ring number four, you can take this three gram as one ring. Okay, and take this uh, another six gram as another part actually. Six gram is another part, and from twelve to twenty three, we'll have again twelve rings actually. Fine, so twelve grams. So basically, what I told these two cuts, I'm making and dividing this into five parts. I told these five parts, guys. These five parts are first part, this ring number four, second part, third part, ring eleven, fourth part, and this is fifth part. Two cuts, five parts, one, one, three, six, twelve. That's the pattern, right? Now I'm going to derive the derive the pattern actually. Fine. So let me let me answer the first question. What is the answer for first, uh, first question, guys? The answer for first one will be what? This will be uh, two. With two cuts, I can measure anything up to twenty-three. Fine. Now, if we if we make three cuts here, right? Okay. If we make three cuts, what will happen? Three cuts, same thing over it, right? So if I make three cuts, guys, so this actually these three cuts will give me what? Okay. So you can just think over it that these three cuts. Wherever I make, I can make three rings of one gram each. Okay, and these three cuts will divide the ring into seven parts. Understand this part, guys? These three cuts will divide the ring into seven parts. Okay, can you sense it, right? Because only two cuts are a five part. Now suppose that if I make a cut here, okay, then one part will be ring number twenty-three. Apart from these five parts, one part will be ring number twenty-three, and one part will be. More than that, right? That is, uh, twenty-three to further on, right? Like so, total five plus seven parts, right? You can see this pattern here, okay? That these two cuts are giving me five parts into two plus one, three cuts seven parts again into two plus one. That's the pattern, right? Now, how many? How many with three cuts? How many I'm I'm going to get actually? So, you if you get this pattern for three cuts, guys, what will happen? Understand it? Three cuts, no? So with one gram, one gram, one gram, I can measure anything up to three gram, right? So I think I can measure with three cuts. Okay, just make this pattern here, guys. Okay, with these three cuts, I can measure anything up to three gram. With this one gram, one gram, one one gram, but right. And so basically, I I need to find where are my cuts actually. So if I can measure anything up to three gram, what I cannot measure, I cannot measure four gram. Okay. So that means I need a loop of four gram, right? So if I need need a loop of four gram, ring number one, ring two, ring three, and ring number four. 
So my first cut will be where? So in this case, my first cut will be at ring number five. My first cut it as ring number five. Okay. So because I am making three cuts, so I have got three gram, one gram, one gram, one gram, three rings of one gram each. I can measure anything up to three gram. What I cannot measure, I cannot measure four gram. So first, I need to take care of this four gram. So for this, I have to have a loop of four gram actually. Once I have this loop of four gram, guys. Now after that, I can move forward. Okay. So let's say. Now with this, with this three gram, with this one gram, one gram, one gram, and four gram, now I can measure anything up to seven gram, right? What I cannot measure, I cannot measure eight gram. That means my next loop will be eight gram, right? Now I want a smile uh, on all of your face. Actually, those are concentrating hard because you can see some pattern here. Okay, because the next loop will be of four gram. Now the next loop will be of eight gram. See here, guys. 3 gram 6 gram 12 gram first loop of 4 gram second loop i need of 8 gram right 6 to 7 basically till 13 okay so this is my this is my 8 gram loop this is my 4 gram loop this is my 8 gram loop right okay what next i need guys i next time so my next cut should be on ring number 14 so my next cut should be on ring number 14 and i have got one 8 gram loop also with one one four and eight what i can measure I can measure anything up to fifteen gram. What I cannot measure, I cannot measure sixteen gram. Right? That means I'll put one more here. With that means the next loop will should be sixteen gram. It starts from ring number fifteen and ends at where ring number thirty. This is the next loop of sixteen gram now. And similarly, the next cut should be on ring number thirty one. Okay, and should go on like this. Right? It's the pattern we derived. So basically, I'm what I'm trying to say with this three cuts actually. So with these three cuts, first cut at ring number five, second at ring number fourteen, and third at thirty-one. So now with this one, 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 four, eight, and sixteen, I can measure anything up to what? Just add this value till thirty-one gram. So that means the next loop should be of how many? How much? Right? Should be of thirty-two gram. Okay. So let's continue here. Ring number thirty-one, and the next loop should be what? Of thirty-two gram. So starting from ring number thirty-two, ending at ring number sixty-three. Right. That means with three cuts, I can. What is the maximum value of n? If the number of cuts is three, so n it should be sixty-three. With sixty-three, I can measure. With three cuts, I can measure anything up to sixty-three, sixty-three grams. Right? How? Just take example. So with these three cuts, what I have now? So with these three cuts, actually I have one gram, one gram, one gram, four, eight, sixteen, four, eight, sixteen. See so here, guys. Four, eight, sixteen, and last is thirty-two. Four, eight, sixteen, ah, huh, and last is thirty-two. Correct. So with this, I can measure anything up to sixty-three. Just add these values, guys. Okay, thirty-two plus sixteen, forty-eight, fifty-six, sixty, sixty-three. If you want to measure fifty-seven, thirty-two plus sixteen plus eight plus one. If you want to measure fifty, thirty-two plus sixteen plus two. That is two gram of one each, right? You can calculate any value to sixty-three. Okay, that's the pattern I got, right? So very nice pattern now. Okay, so I'll just let let me now finally. Consolidate this concept now. Okay, so what I told guys, remember this: two cuts, five parts; three cuts, seven parts. Okay. Now let me combine these values now. Okay. So what I told guys, they go for two cuts. I have one gram and one gram. Okay. Now the next should be start start from where? So with one and one, you can measure two. What you can't measure three. Next you write three here and two cuts basically. Wait guys, sorry. Just wait one minute. Huh? So with two cuts, what you can do, what you can get with two cuts, you can get actually five parts. So with two cuts, total five parts. One two cuts will give me one gram, one gram two ring. What it will, what I cannot measure. So next write three gram here and now double it. Five parts means one part, one part three, then six and then twelve. That's the pattern, right? The beautiful pattern. Okay, three cuts. With this three cuts again into two plus one, right? Into two plus one. So into two plus one is what now seven parts actually. With the seven parts, what you can measure one gram, one gram, one gram. Okay, there are three grams here, right? Now what you can't measure, you can't measure four grams, right? Four here. Now this is one part, one part, one part, and this is four. This is fourth part, right? You need three more parts. Keep on doubling it. So four parts now. Five part double it eight gram. Six part double it sixteen gram. Third part double it thirty two gram. So this is right. So in two cuts, if I add all the values, 
I can measure anything up to just add it, guys. You can measure anything up to twenty three. Okay, here I can measure anything up to what fifty six, fifty three. Similarly, if I make four cuts, if I make four cuts, okay, four cuts into two plus one will give me nine parts. So in this nine parts, this four cuts can give me one gram, one gram, one gram, and one gram, right? Now with this four parts, I'll get four rings of one gram each, so four gram. What I cannot measure, I cannot measure five grams, right? Five gram here, okay? And then nine parts actually. How many parts already? We have one, two, three, four, five parts. I need four more parts. Keep on doubling it. This is four more parts, right? So first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. Just add it up, guys. Add 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 it all. If you add these values, what will get? What will get actually? Uh, nine, ten, nineteen, thirty-nine, seventy-nine, and we'll get one fifty-nine. So I can measure anything up to one fifty nine. So up to one fifty nine. So that's the pattern we got here, guys. It's a beautiful. I just see this kind of questions, okay, and I see that maths is beautiful, right? Just need to observe many things, know many concepts, right? Increase your content knowledge, okay. So that's why you can just crack these. It's it's so much easy actually, right? Okay, these questions we have to know these concepts, okay. So it's about first thing, guys. So I always tell you. It's always, always when you study. Okay, just mark my two three points. Very important. Always increase your content knowledge. I always focus on this point while I take over the class at an academy. Okay, more content knowledge. That means more confidence, more concepts. Right? Like suppose in algebra, they are asking. Yeah, they are uh, somebody give me a question of algebra. Right? And it was uh, in mock. It was in a lengthy way, and I taught one pix theorem actually in algebra in class. So people don't know what is Pick's theorem, right? And then they end up like frust uh, get frustrated. Okay, no, I don't know Pick's theorem. What is with this Pick's theorem? You can solve so easily those concepts, right? Just like a small example I'm giving actually. So that that's why there are so many good concepts, good shortcuts, right? Especially LRDI. LRDI is absolutely full of concepts. It's full of concept, right? People are wrong. They are absolutely wrong who says says that just do random practice in LRDI. Never. It's full of concept. In next video, I'll show you which topics are there in LRD. Okay, 